Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I've got a stack of stuff to show you today. Got a lot of Arrow stuff to go through, some Blu-rays and DVDs. So let's get started. Uh, another title from Massacre Video, The Nostril Picker, aka The Changer. I haven't seen this one since um, the Vipco days, uh, where I'm sure it had many cuts on it, like all the other Vipco films, but they were still great. Yeah, so this film is basically about a guy named Joe who uh, meets a tramp one day. I think he teaches him chant, which allows him to shapeshift into different people or to turn into other people. Uh, so basically, he turns into a schoolgirl and rapes, kills, and murders young uh, high school girls, and that's that's pretty much the gist of it, anyway. As as far as I can remember, uh, it's a pretty good sleazy film, pretty pretty awful, and pretty good at the same time. So it's definitely worth a view if you're into that sort of stuff. Next up, I have a stack of Arrow stuff. So first up is The Hound of the Baskervilles, um, starring Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Uh, I don't really have to say much about this title, I'm sure, as most of you probably have either seen a rendition of it or read the book itself. Um, but yeah, an absolute classic from the Hammer Horror Studios, of course. Awesome release. I'm looking forward to watching this on Blu-ray. If you're a fan of the Hammer Horror Collection, check this one out because it's just as good as all the others. So I've been hunting recently for the Arrow Slipcase editions. I've managed to pick three brand new and sealed ones up. First up is House by the Cemetery. This is a classic Fulci film about a family who move into a house. They find a basement which is all boarded up. And um, yeah, they end up unleashing like a gateway to hell. It's an absolute classic sort of zombie zombie horror flicks. So it's a slasher. It has elements of every kind of horror genre, subgenre in there. So it's really good. Definitely worth checking out. Um, yeah, I picked this one up for about twenty pound. It's brand new and sealed, so I was, I was quite pleased with that. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't want to pay too much for it, but you know, I'd rather have them new because then you know, you know, it's going to be in good condition. Um, yeah, so I was quite chuffed to pick that one up. I do have House by the Cemetery um, in this Gates of Hell trilogy from Arrow. Um, Arrow Drome, it was. I don't know if they still, if this still sub brand of Arrow exists or not. I don't generally buy many DVDs anymore. This is an awesome box set as well. I've had this for years, a long time. Um, but as I said, I'm trying to pick up most of the slipcases now. I think you can still get this around. It's, it's reasonably cheap. So yeah, that's worth picking up. I've seen it go on eBay for less than a tenner. It's a very good collection as well. I mean, I've had this in my collection for a while, but I thought I'd just mention it anyway. Yeah, so I also got um, Dario Argento's Inferno, which is the um, second film in the um, Three Mothers trilogy. I got the slipcase brand new and sealed again, cost me £13, I picked that up on eBay. Um, that was including postage, so, you know, they are still available, they are still out there, and they're not, you know, I've seen, um, I do have Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead, I've seen them go on eBay for ridiculous prices, but lately they seem to have dropped right down. So, um, yeah, they're still out there, still available to get, like I said. Inferno, what a classic, great ending as well, the climax is brilliant, I love this film. And Suspiria as well, if you haven't seen that, then check that out. So I picked up Deep Red here. Um, December, Arrow are releasing the three disc edition. Um, coming with the soundtrack, because obviously Deep Red has such a, it has a fantastic soundtrack by Goblin, who did the soundtrack for uh, films like Dawn of the Dead. It's a um, really good film, this one. Dario Argento again. It basically is about um, a musician who discovers a, um, a woman who's being murdered and um, decides to try and solve the case. Um, yeah, I picked this one up brand new for, for 15 quid with postage and packaging. I, I've seen this go for a lot more on eBay, which is strange, but I'm guessing due to the the uh, December release that Arrow are bringing out, I, it must have dropped quite a lot. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm really keen to pick these up. I was really happy to find this one uh, still available, still brand new and sealed in its packaging, so that was really cool. We'll pick this one up from Arrow. This was released last week, it's quite a new release from them, Tenderness of the Wolves. Um, it's a story about Fritz Harmon, the wolfman, the vampire, or the butcher of Hanover, as he's also known as, um, an infamous serial killer from Germany. The film focuses uh, mainly around the events and murders surrounding um, Fritz Harmon. It also stars Rainier Werner Fassbinder who plays a cameo as um, Harmon's Asylum. Kurt Rabb, who stars as Harmon, also wrote the screenplay for this one. If you are a fan of German cinema, then I um, I definitely advise you to source out some of um, Fassbinder's films. He's a very interesting character and filmmaker. He died at tender age of 37, making, I believe, something like 40 plus um, feature-length films. 
Um, some very interesting and obscure work from him. And yeah, source out his material and um, give it a watch. If you enjoy Tenderness of the Wolves um, and you're interested in Harmon himself, also check out Fritz Lang's absolute classic M or its slightly longer original German title, A City Looks for a Murderer. This film, unlike Tenderness of the Wolves, is loosely based on Harmon's killings, starring Peter Law as a fictional child killer, but this one is definitely worth a view. Um, it's from, I've got this copy from Eureka Entertainment. It's still available now for a very good price and I highly recommend it. I will drop a link below. And finally guys, I picked up the Exorcist Anthology. Um, this set is from Warner Brothers UK. Um, it doesn't have many extras on it, but I was quite happy to pick this one up for 17 99 I believe it cost me. Brilliant supernatural horror. Number two, The Heretic. It's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be, I don't think personally. It has some interesting practical effects anyway. It's worth a watch. Um, number three is absolutely brilliant. Um, I, I think it's pretty much on par with the first film. It also includes the 2005 prequel, The Exorcist Dominion, where Father Merrin initially encounters Pazuzu, if that's how you pronounce it. A few last things. Um, I picked up Nostril Picker from eBay. Um, I got it for a tenner including postage, so that was pretty good. But um, generally I buy all my um, US import films, all my strange and obscure stuff and um, well the majority of it anyway, all my SOV films and Massacre Video um, DVDs from Strange Vice, um, they're a really great company, I believe they're based in Glasgow, um, so they're a UK company and they have the best selection of um, obscure horror, art house films and anything you can think of, they have it pretty much, including VHS as well. Uh, definitely worth checking out. I'll drop a link below, but I thought I'd give them a mention anyway because they're a great company again, like I said. Yeah, so check them out. Also, if anyone is interested, I have this um, slipcase here. Um, it is just a slipcase for, for the um, Arrow release of Thief. Um, if anybody is interested and wants it, I'll send it to you for free. Obviously, I've only got one first come, first serve sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I got this uh, sent to me um, from an eBay seller. It was in a box, so obviously already have the edition with the slipcase in it, it's pretty much mint condition so if anybody needs that let me know and um, I'll, I'll send that one out to you. Yeah so that's everything guys, um, thanks for a great response to my first two videos, I've had loads of views and stuff so that's that's really awesome, um, I really appreciate it, all the comments and everything, please remember to like, comment and subscribe, please drop me a message if you're interested in anything or want to know anything that I've talked about in my videos, um, or if there's anything you want me to review or do, any ideas just let me know, that would be fantastic. I will do some um, film reviews shortly and I'm working on another video which should be up soon. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's it guys, thank you very much.